Hello. I'm going to again connect my mouse and let it charge. I am Blue Hair and Tarot, um, or this is Blue Hair and Tarot. I am not, that's not my name, but I guess that would be a kind of an interesting name. Um, this message is for Virgo. This is going to be about Virgo and their person for the end of October. Okay, we're closing it up. Um, so it's the person that you're thinking about when you decided to listen to this reading, okay? So you could be in a relationship or not. Spirit, give us a card for the current, but you're just thinking about them, okay? Give us a card for Virgo. What do you think, Spirit? Card for Virgo, please. Okay. There we go, honeymoon. All right, for some of you, you were on a honeymoon, you're vacationing. For the most of you, you are in separation. This relationship is you're not together, okay? Nope, not yet. So this is for you, Virgo, where you're at, your energies during this time of separation from your person or your possible honeymoon. I'm just not getting that, not for this. This is a separation read, um, but you have passionate feelings towards your person. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Interesting. Codependency, your person has codependency issues. The addictions are affecting your romantic life. They might have some addictions. They may be codependent towards you. I don't know. Your person is dealing with some stuck energy and you have passion and you're separated. Okay, let's, let's go further into where your person's at. Okay. For some of you, your person has codependencies towards you and is addicted towards you. Okay. A lot of times spirit will break up a relationship that has too much of this attachment in it so that we can set, the spirit wants to set us free from that kind of attachment. You know, how long do you, spirit doesn't want you to roll in that game forever and we're in moving in a time of, of awareness and um, freedom, Aquarius Sage, right? So spirit doesn't want um, us to stay in those energies too long. Yeah, your person, um, really gets caught in their mind. They're good. They, 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 you, you don't even see them like as a good communicator. Um, they communicate to a lot of other people. This is how you see them in the past or they communicate to a lot of people, but not you. This person has a lot of anxiety when it comes to you. They can't decide and they have a lot of anxiety and they don't really talk to you. Okay. You don't see them as talking to you. Um, interesting. Maybe they're codependent on other things and they um, are unable to move into a passionate relationship with you. Oh my gosh, they, they are definitely walking away from you. They are, they're not, <laughs> what? They are not, they have indecisive feelings towards you in the recent past. They are not communicating with you. And when it comes to you, they feel anxiety and strife and restlessness. Currently, they are not with you. They've emotionally detached from you and walked away. Um, all right, Virgo. And yeah, because I feel like they, they were addicted to you or attached to you or something else. Um, and you're seeing them as happier now that they've walked away. Um, they seem to be getting their stuff together and they're moving into more happiness, okay? They feel like they have to try really hard to be with you. Um, and they kind of see that you might be trying to be with them. Um, for some of you, your person might be a Leo or an air sign of some kind. But it looks like a fire sign, an air sign, okay? So this is an interesting read, Virgo. Your person's definitely walked away and you see them as 
as the sun, though. I mean, I don't know if they're happy. You just you think that they're happy now, but they think that they just have to work really hard at like you know keeping their boundaries up, keeping themselves strong, and they have to really work hard when it comes to you, okay, to achieve victory. Okay. All right, you see them as your soulmate. You see them as your soulmate. Um, but I, I think, honestly, Virgo, I feel like you had a third party. I feel like, okay, reverse it. Okay, if you relate to this person, your person, you think you're this person and your person's this person, that is fine. Just switch it right around, okay? But I'm going to keep this side you just to make it easier. And not like double up and say, this could be this or this could be that. You know what I'm saying? So when I say you, you could also think of it as your person. Okay. Um, so yeah, you see them as your soulmate, as a divine counterpart. Um, but they see you as, as being in another party. So it's very, either they think that you're with somebody else or you are. Okay. Um, and it's, it really broke their heart okay they see you as somebody who will break their heart who has broken their heart that causes them sorrow so they they in the past they walked away they don't even communicate with you they have their back on you and it's caused them a lot of anxiety a lot of anxiety virgo let's see six of swords and you see them um you feel See, for whatever reason, either they make you feel calm, um, you feel calm to either not be with them or you feel calm when you're with them, okay? So when you think of them, um, you kind of feel like mentally chilled out. But also I think when you think of them, you're just kind of going with the flow and maybe possibly moving away from them. So either you want to move towards them or you want to move away from them. Um, let's go further. Just in the recent past, you just, you just, they were in anxiety, but you're just kind of calm, going with the flow energy for whatever reason when it comes to them. Okay. Um, so, you know, you might not be in a third party for this person. Maybe it's like paranoid, your person's paranoid, it feels like you are in a third party, um, and they or you are were in a third party and they felt like they had to walk away. Okay. Yeah. You wanna give to them, but I feel like for some of you, you have trouble giving to them. They know you're a divine partner. They do, they think that you have a lot of secrets, but they also think that whatever's going on is meant to be, that it's spirit led. They're in that awareness, okay? It's part of the, like, there's a part of like a surrender that has gone on with them, and they see the highest um, lesson and learning in this relating experience, okay? So they see high priestess energy when it comes to you because they see the maturity that exist from the lessons in this relationship I want to say okay you want to give to them equally I feel like you haven't before you know what I'm saying equal give and take okay you want to offer them love um yeah right now you want to offer them love they see you as mysterious they also see it as a lot of work um and they still have a guard up right now when it comes to, when it comes to you, Virgo. So let's see what they're going to do in the future when it comes to you, Virgo. They really feel defeated, and even in the future. Um, I feel like they're going to fight you. I, I don't know why. They're going to fight against you coming forward. But you do see them as offering you something, you know? All right, here we go. They might fight for you. They might be willing to fight for you and fight for um, the relationship. 
fight against the defeat that and conquer the defeat that they feel in this relationship with you. Because I think for a lot, there was some infidelity or you were with somebody else. We don't know. Because they're pretty like, they hands down walked away. So either they're willing to fight with you or they're not willing to fight with you. And they feel a sense of defeat when it comes to you. But you see them as offering something, maybe an apology or they're taking an, maybe they're offering you an apology or you're offering them an apology. But nonetheless, in the final outcome, spirit's going to come in and make this right. If you guys are meant to be together, just trust in spirit because spirit's going to come in and whatever is meant for you guys will be. Okay. So you're coming into alignment, but the alignment is going to be spirit led. Okay, they see you as the high priestess. In that sense, they see you as um, a guide to their growth and to their happiness. Okay, so that doesn't mean that they're, they're defending, they're fighting for their truth and they're fighting for spirit. Okay, so when you offer them love, they might take that offer. Okay. Um, it looks like to you that they're taking the offer, but they have to fight a lot of demons still when it comes to this and trusting they're fighting for spirit. They're trusting in spirit and spirit's going to have the final say, okay, your higher selves in all of this. And they're going to focus on that. So you are moving into emperor energy in the future. So you feel like... They are your counterpart. They are your emperor or empress or they're the one. Um, you might be trying to control the situation. Um, you are coming across as really strong to them. Um, oh, wow. Here we go again, Virgo. This is that divine counterpart thing. It's, it's a higher orchestrated situation. You guys are in separation. You move into your strength. You, they see you, once they see you being led by your heart from the strength card, that's when you're allowed to come together by your higher selves, where you, where it benefits the both of you. Okay. But I see you really coming into your, own control, your own power, calling in your own strength, because they are, they are your true love, and spirit knows it, and spirit's going to call it in, okay? Oh, man, what the heck? Why do you do this to me? These relationships are strange because you're apart, but you're supposed to be together, but you're not supposed to be together until you find your own inner strength and you allow your heart to rule and the sunshine to rule. Because spirit doesn't want you guys to be together when you're codependent. Spirit doesn't want that for you. Spirit does, you know, a lot of you had a third party, another relationship to work more karmic things out, more codependencies out, not for this person to have that experience with you anymore, right? It's a bigger picture in all of this. So you both learn to be your own son, be your own person, be your own light. And in that sense, alignment with, this is union, this is union, alignment with the divine and with each other because this is divinely led, okay? You don't have to be together. It doesn't matter when you get to this purple energy. You love yourself. You're all good to go. The Great Severing, Mars Energy, Anger, Conflict, Softening to Love. There was a separation. There was a severing. It was pretty painful for you. Um, it caused a lot of anger for you or your person. There was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of fighting in this relationship. There was a lot of Mars Energy, passion, and anger. It was, it, you know, very fast moving, getting to the point. So you're severing Mars. You're severing anger. You're severing conflict because you faced it, you experienced it, and now you are softening to love. That is what you're learning in this relationship, Virgo. I didn't do the destiny yet. Let's see. 
You're not for everyone. Look up. You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. So your person is this very special person. Not for everyone, okay? Your person is, is definitely facing their truth, embracing who they are, becoming happy with who they are, letting go of their codependencies, allowing themselves to be weird, you know? Coming, this could be you too if you're this person. Embracing your weirdness, realizing that you are not for everyone and letting letting it go, letting other people be who they are, feel about you how they how they do, and allowing yourself to express yourself completely and align with your true north, your your life purpose. Your person's aligning with their life purpose, okay? Or you are if you're this person, okay? All right, let's do the destiny of the relationship. Oh, I have enough time. Okay, cool. Which cards have I not used? Okay, so we're going to do the destiny of this relationship. It's kind of obvious. Comparison. Yeah, it's letting go of worrying about what people think and becoming free. You're not going to care what people think anymore. This relationship has taught you that. And again, judgment beyond illusion. It's 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 reconciling. It's reconciling with spirit. It's like Jesus coming in, the final days to, you know, get rid of the anger, get rid of the hatred, get rid of the conflict, get rid of the suffering and moving and softening into love. That is the purpose of this relationship and the destiny. All righty. Short and sweet, maybe, Virgo. So let's do energy card and a planet for the two of you. 12th house escape. Okay. Hands down, this is the Piscean spiritual relationship. Stability. Okay, that's interesting. I feel like this person is the person that wants to escape, that can't handle like the stability of life. So this person has to learn inner stability. Okay, they can't lean. This person needs to learn to not lean on you or other people for their um, dependency. They need to be dependent on themselves and be their own stability. Okay, and they're they're moving into their life path. They're accepting that they're not for everyone and they're accepting who they are. They're moving into that energy. They're becoming very happy um, in comparison, okay? They're aligning with spirit. It's a process for them, okay? And for you, Virgo, you are, it's sort of like you might be the more stable element, right? The earth sign. But this person is t teaching you the things above the veil um, to work out I mean, I almost feel like you're this mirror of the true, whether you're doing like whatever you're doing, like sometimes it looks like sometimes you were not giving this person enough because what they're asking for is the stability, right? And you're like, it's not, it's, this is a spirit led relationship in a weird sort of way. I don't want to blame it on spirit because when, and whenever somebody isn't treating you right, you need to do something about it. You don't just sit and get like beat up like a doormat, right? But this person leaves you, right? Because you're not giving them enough. You're not able to. I don't think you're there, that you were supposed to in some sort of way. You might not realize that. And so this 12th house is making you realize a lot of your actions are based on the divine will. But you don't understand why it's happening. Why is there conflict, you know? It's like... How do I get in the flow here? And you learn. You learn what spirit's doing. You're starting to see clearly what spirit's doing, okay, in this. And it's giving you more and more strength and confidence in the unknown, okay? And then this person kind of hangs out in the unknown so much, which causes so much anxiety because they don't know how to ground it in, okay? Ground it into here. So this person is learning to do that. And so collectively, you two together are balancing each other's energies so that um, you have that spiritual element within you. They have that um, grounding element within, within them. And so they, you guys become whole and complete within yourselves, right? So a collective, um, I mean, together. Yeah, you're destined to be together. This is destiny, or you're destined to have this experience at the very least, Virgo, okay? So I think this is all I want to read for you. Um, Really lovely read. I have like three in a row for whatever reason about like this is very twin flame divine counterpart kind of or at least karmic. It looks like twin flame to me or counterpart. Um, 
Or it could be karmic, though. You know, all this stuff leads to di divinity, leads to union with self, opening up the heart chakra. So it's like, I don't know what to label it, but it's that divine relationship that moves you into union with yourself, with, with self-love and abundance and bliss and love. Okay, so beautiful Virgo and um, very happy for you and... You know, before before I go, I think I want to do a little advice for you. This is an advice for Virgo, if you need any, okay? I just feel like called to do that. I might do, yeah, advice for Virgo, participation. This is, again, Four of Wands, energy, divine counterparts. Um, participate with the divine. Um, go further. Um, I think you're already doing it, honestly, but go, you don't have to control. Just let go of the control, move into the flow of the divine. Okay. The calling of the divine and participate with your higher self. It is your destiny to do that. Don't compare. You, it's all an illusion. Move into your destiny and feel the passion and the urge of what is your truth what, what is your technology? What is your destiny? That's what spirit wants to tell you. Okay, Virgo, that's all I have for you. If you want a personal read, feel free to email me. My information is in the description box. Just asking for a read. My prices are down in the description box as well. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And have a lovely, 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 lovely day.